Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. Hi, welcome to another lecture from RoboJax. In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can use this 3-pin LM35 temperature sensor to measure and uh, display the temperature in Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin, or take action based on temperature. This is the LM35 temperature sensor. It has just three pins. The left pin is the voltage or main power, which you can connect it from 4 to 20 volts and the middle pin is the output where you can get a voltage proportional to the temperature and the right pin is ground. This outputs 10 millivolts per every degree of Celsius and we're using that formula to calculate the temperature proportional to the voltage. And here is the data sheet for this. It's precision centigrade temperature sensor. With this you can measure from minus 55 to 150 degrees Celsius and accuracy is 0.5 degrees Celsius up to 25 degrees. The current that it needs is 60 microampere. The voltage that it can operate is from 4 to 30 volts, not 20 volts. And output impedance is 0.1 ohm for 1 milliampere load, which means it can drive that type of load, but for Arduino we, we are not worried about it. And here this module is offered in different package. The one that we are using is TO92. So this is a TO92, but it is offered at, in the V package. And here are the pins for TO92. The left pin is the voltage source, the middle is the output, and the right pin is the ground. You might see it in this shape like an IC, but you can see not connected, not connected all these pins. So we have out is number one and voltage source is on this side and ground is number four. Or you might see it a little in larger shape of TO220. We will see different variation of this. We have LM35 or LM35A. It will be from minus 155 to 150. If it is my uh, LM35C, or CA, it will be from minus 40 to 110, but if you get LM35D, it will be from 0 to 100 degrees, so it doesn't go to the negative. The sensing gain is, as you can see, for LM35A, here typical for LM35C. So the typical for LM35A is 10, 10 millivolts per degree Celsius, so that's what I'm using. I'll provide you the data sheet in case if you need it for further study. Here is the wiring diagram for LM35. The left pin is connected to 5 volts. The second pin is the output voltage. We are connecting it to analog zero. And the last pin is ground. It has been connected to the ground. And now here is the wiring. The wiring is very simple. The last pin is the VCC, this is connected to 5 volts in here. And the pin on the right side is a ground using green have been connected to the ground. And the middle pin is the output where we read the temperature has been connected using blue wire to analog zero. Now let me explain the code. We are de defining an input pin where we read the middle pin of the sensor. N pin, I call it, and we have defined it as analog zero. You can change it if you want. And then we define a constant float. This is the LM35 factor. This is 10 milli, 0 0.01. That's a 10 milli volt per degree Celsius. Do not change it. And iteration is an integer that we define that it takes 1,000 measurement and divide it back to 1,000 so we can get the average. You can change it if you want, uh, increase it. It will be a little uh, slower, but more measurement. But if you want super fast, you reduce this number to maybe 100 or even 1. So 
but do not make it zero because you will get error. Inside the setup, we define the serial monitor with 9600 baud, and inside the loop, this will read continuously. And here, how we print the temperature. This is being printed with uh, print temperature inside single quote C. So this will print that temperature. Right now, it's not connected, so it will print that. And this is just creating a new line. So so this text goes to the next line. And if you want Fahrenheit, put single code F and it will print Fahrenheit or Kelvin. So whichever temperature you want to display on the screen, this is just for printing. But if you want to take that temperature and do something, this is the temperature. So you use get temperature instead of print, use get temperature and same way put single code C or F for Fahrenheit or K for Kelvin. And here is an example. F get temperature. This is getting the temperature in Celsius. If it is greater than 87 degrees Celsius, this is opening of uh, action and that's a closing. And the action will be inside this between these two in here, like turning on a light, a relay, or sending a text, or saving, whatever you want to do. That action will happen between these two. And here, get temperature is a function that I've defined it here. It receives the type here. The type, the, the C, K, or F that you sent will be a character here. And then we have float value that is defined, which will be used next. And then average is also zero. We use analog read to read the end pen. This is reading the value, storing it here. And then we multiply it by the factor of 5 volts over 1023. This is the resolution of input of analog. And the result of this calculation is a voltage will be stored in here. And then to convert it to the degree Celsius, that is voltage divided by the factor. The factor is defined at the top of the code, and this will give us Celsius will be in here. Then this loop goes from i equals 0 to 1 smaller than iteration, 1, 2, 3, up to 100, whatever you set. And every time it gets the temperature and adds it to this variable, which we define in here. It will be added, it will be a huge number, but then we, we get that, the same number, divided by iteration. So this way we can get the average. And here we check if it is the request type is equal F, then we get it multiplied by this factor to convert it to Fahrenheit, and it will be stored in value. If it is equal K, then we add 273.15, it will be Kelvin stored in, vari in value. Otherwise, the actual temperature will be in value, so this will be in Celsius, and we return it. And print temperature is the same way. So we get the temperature using get temperature. The value will be here. Then we use uh, serial printer, serial monitor to print it. And immediately after that, we print the degree symbol. And then after that, we need to print F or C or K for the unit. And here, if the F, uh, the request is Fahrenheit, we print F. If it is K, we print just K. If it is C, we print C. This function print degree Celsius, these are the value that when you print this on the screen, it will both of these combined together will print symbol. Let me now demonstrate it. Now that the sensor has uh, 25.39 degrees Celsius or 78 degrees Fahrenheit, and this is converting it, and, I, and, and you can see we are getting the three values on the screen. Uh, now I'm going to apply heat using this heat gun. And as you can see, the temperature increased about 80 degrees and it's or 160 or 70, and it is decreasing.
And if I remove this, you will see that it shows some random value, 200 degrees and something. So when the wiring is incorrect, that's how you know that uh, something is wrong. And now you can see also because uh, the wires or one is one wire is connected, the other is not connected. You saw zero now. This is actual temperature slowly decreasing. And here, if you want to take some action based on temperature, you will say get temperature, let's say in Celsius, and if the temperature is above 78 degrees, this is just an example, take some action between these two curly parentheses and put your action in here. So this is where your action will be, where you can, we can turn on a relay or... Thank you for watching. This was how to use the LM35 temperature sensor. Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.